Hello my lords and ladies and welcome back to State Guy Plays with me, State Guy 89. We are back on Kingdom Come Deliverance. And as you can see we are at the monastery in Sessau. We're gonna start trying to figure out who or what happened with the stone and who was the cause of it. So See, we have a stone mason. One of them may have something they want to say. Go since to it was a stone issue. And with you. Did you see the accident? Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see it. I was down at the bottom and I heard something rumble and then screams. I ran up and helped to carry him out. Did you notice anything suspicious? When they left, there was a terrible stench. We were being punished for digging up that skull. Okay. God be with you. Well, we already know about the skull. We need to look into it. Let's see what's going on. That's the man we need to see about the skull. <coughs> Let's ask him about it while we're here. Let's check. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. I hope you can. You're the one who found the skull. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumors spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. Really now? On holy ground? Here. On holy ground. In the middle of the monastery. But it was outside the monastery walls. Where exactly? Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. Okay. Really a devil's skull? And are you sure it was a devil's skull? Mm, I know what speech. I saw. I can recognize a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil, besides. That thing gave off a diabolical stink. Okay, what did you do with it? And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only, I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. I'll be with you. That's something to go off of. So let's see... Where it's going to send us? Alright, just outside and down by the river. Let's go look and see if we can find it. Beehive. Let's see if we see any sign of it. somewhere. This I would think it would. Someone's hiding some moonshine. I'm trying to keep it cold.
the skull land. Assuming it's not out in the open. Cause somebody would have probably seen it by now. Devil's skull. Hmm. It looks genuine, but I'm not capable of judging. So, who are we going to take it to? A local necker. Makes sense enough to me. So, Go see what the knacker has to say about this one. where the knacker is. That's right, he's back down here. Let's hurry our way down there. Travel. Let's try again. There we go. So, Devil Skull. This ought to be an interesting one. Knacker would have dealt with enough to have an idea if it's a genuine human skull or something unhuman. See if we can catch him before he heads to bed. Come here. 
here, sir. God be with you. And with you. I found this skull. People are saying it's the skull of a demon, but I don't know. It certainly looks like it, with the horns and all. Well, let's see. Those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. <laughs> it's not a devil, just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear it's not the real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they yep. put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger, and no mistake. God be with you. Hmm. Okay. So somebody is out to get the monastery, it sounds like. They're out to stop the construction. I have to see what we can find out about that. Ask the scaffolder if he put it there. Well, he wouldn't know where the scaffolding was going. Where Come here, Pebbles. Yeah. Back up to the monastery. Alright. Hopefully we can get some answers now. Now that we know it's not the real thing. Someone had to put it there, which means someone ought to be able to fess up to it and explain it. Why they did it. Yeah. coming dark. Yeah. Let's stop in here, get a little sleep, and then we'll head up and see what we can find out about the skull. Alright, so we're resting. Got something to eat. We're here to find the scaffolder. Right. Wherever they can. And how are they doing? See if the stonemasons know where he's at. I want to ask you, you about the accident, accident while we're talking to you. I didn't see it. I was down at the bottom and I heard something rumble and then screamed. I ran up and helped to carry him out. Did you notice anything suspicious? Like what? A lot of people came down to see what was happening. Even a butcher dripping with blood wouldn't have attracted any attention in that mob. <laughs> Fair enough. Farewell. We can't ask him about the scaffolders, so let's keep looking around, see what we can find. Guard. up on the scaffolding and see if we can find him. Seems like a legitimate place. Not up here. themselves a nice little uh, break area. Don't see him down there. Hmm. Is he not up yet? Is it still early in the morning? Maybe up on the main scaffolding. It's 
not looking promising. Oh, we're out of our search area. That pretty well tells me it's not up here. But we're just outside, so let's see if we can go on up, move around up top and find him. We've made it back to the monastery. Now it's time to talk to the builders and let them know that the stone did not come from where they think it did. And see what they have to say. Good health to you. And to you. Has anything else unusual happened? Let's Has anything else unusual it. happened? I can think of a couple of things. When we were extending the scaffolding, they dug up a human skull by the wall. Uh, we already know with about that. Horns. A skull with horns? I don't know. What about the second thing? One of our workers ran away. And that's unusual? Somewhat. Usually, hmm. if someone runs away, they take things with them. But he left everything here absolutely everything and disappeared mm. like steam over a cooking pot he didn't tell a soul what he was up to are you sure he ran away all right let's let him know that the stone's different than the rest i looked around and the stone that fell on that man is different from the rest yes it's very poor but we have to work with what we've got we didn't have anything else and we couldn't wait for more that's not what i meant it's not the same kind of stone that came from Talmberg. Someone must have switched it. But why would anyone do that? Well, maybe he was stealing new stone and replacing it with old stuff. Or to hmm. sabotage the construction, I don't know. But the carriage never moved. It rained a lot and we couldn't get any work done. Or we'd have been up to our ankles in mud. So someone had to take it out without being seen? <laughs> that huge piece of rock. It would take a few strong men to shift something that size. I yes, know you're trying to help, but someone would have noticed. It couldn't be done without anyone seeing it. Obviously it was. Let him know the skull's fake. The skull is a fake. Someone fixed horns on a human skull. But where would they get a human skull? And why would they do it? Maybe to frighten the workers? Raise the price? But that wouldn't help anyone. It had to be some idiot's idea of a prank. An idiot? who was nearly responsible for getting a man killed. Hmm. Your apprentice is a thief and a murderer. Very true, and also dead. Your apprentice is behind it all, Master Builder. What? Leshek told me the skull was Zmola's idea, and he was responsible for the bad stone, too, and even worse things. Good God. Why would the lad do that? I always took good care of him, and... Jesus Christ. Right. Good luck to you. Uh, he now knows and Zamala has been dealt with. So does that leave us with anything here? I 
don't believe so. I think that's just a quest marker that's got locked on, which hopefully will disappear after we finish letting Sir Divish know. So, for all of our travels, back and forth, we are headed back to Townburg. And I'll see you there in a moment. Oh, well, we ran into an attack on the road. We weren't able to get away from it, so... You'll get one. A couple non-armored guys. <laughs> Just take care of them and move on. I done take, took out both your buddies. And you think you can take me on your own? Well, at least you have a sword. It's more than they had. Let's take everything you got. Yes, I know we're going to be over encumbered, but we'll head to the store shortly and get a little bit of aggression out of these guys for wanting to rob us. So, I will continue on. I will see you shortly in Townburg. Back at Townburg. Now it's time to go find Sir Divish and let him know everything that we found out. And that those responsible have been dealt with. God save you, Henry. Perhaps not apprehended like he would like, but dealt with and stopped nonetheless. We're probably going to catch him in prayers again, aren't we? Yes, we are. Sorry to interrupt, Sir Devish, but we need to talk. Got good news, sir. The source of the problem was inside the monastery. There was nothing more to it. And the construction? We'll continue. The master builder's helper was to blame for everything. With him out of the way, the work will run smoothly again. That's good. You've accomplished your task admirably, Henry, and I should reward you for it. Thank you, Sir Divish. Appreciate it. So what are you going to do with Paris Lovitz? Can I be of service to you, Sir Divish? I've heard talk that something is going on in Pribis Lovitz. Henry, you've come at just the right moment. I sent a man to Pribis Lovitz. My locator, Marius. Locator? What's a locator? A land allocator. I charged him with checking on the condition of the settlement to see if we can start rebuilding it. Okay, you're planning on re resettling it? You're planning to resettle the village? Yes. 
Why Pribislav? It's of all places. Because it's been lying fallow and falling into ruin since it was sacked by Havel Medic years ago. It's about time that changed. Well, it should be safe there uh. now. We trounced that rabble on the battlefield. Yes, and that's why I sent my master locator there. However, he should have been back long since. If you've no objection, I could go and look for him. I'd appreciate that. He probably just got delayed. But I'd be happier if you checked it out. God be with you. We can certainly check into it while we're at it. That'll give us something else to do. Check into it and find and save the locator. And if memory serves, that will act that actually is the trigger of From the Ashes DLC. So that'll be nice to get started on and get that up and going. Get that DLC in the works. Over here, let's stop by the combat area. See what's going on, see what we can learn. Sir Robert. Robard. Jesus Christ be praised. And we can get some training from you. Let's do some sword training. I'd like to improve my swordsmanship. Certainly. Advance? I'd like to hone my skills. First, you have to have some skills to hone. Okay, so we're not high enough yet. Well, I'll think it over. I wonder if we are in defense. Can you teach me how to defend myself better in combat? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Yeah, we expected it to cost us, but I don't know that I want to pay 180. Isn't that quite a lot? Maybe 140. Are we agreed? You're a right pinch purse. Okay, 150. Agree. Now, listen up. Alright, new level in defense. Awesome. So, what else will we do today? Finding Sir Divis's locator will most likely be tomorrow's episode, and we'll try to find him and get that DLC up and going. Uh, tell Agnes about Father Francis. We need, we can <coughs> work on that. Let's go out here and grab pebbles, and we'll head to Reta. That way we can see if we can get her to take the cook's job, which will fill the last remaining job that we need to get filled from yesterday's episode. So, I will see y'all in just a minute in Reta. Alright, so we have made it to Reta. Now, it is early morning. We did stop yeah. and sleep and get some rest through the night. But, some plans have changed as we have made it to Reta. As a I have found out from the guards that they have went ahead and informed me that there is a tourney today. And that we'll need to sign up with this morning to get enrolled. Now, unfortunately, in this episode there is not time to bring in the tourney to the, today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this episode done for the day. We're going to stop here. And on tomorrow's yeah. episode, we're going to enroll in the tourney. As you can see, it's set up. The arena's built. Flags are flying. So, on tomorrow, we will enroll in the tourney. And try our luck. See what we can do. 
Hopefully we can take home the prize, as well as we need to find out what happened to the blacksmith's son who won the tourney before. So, thank you, my lords and ladies. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we will see you.